Hasbin Hotel has long been the ire of many alternative communities in the past year. It's flashy, it's conceited, it's obnoxious, and it's non-stop light and sound. And it's because of these people complaining that I'm further convinced that not everyone should be allowed to breathe. Because regardless of what it is, Hasbin Hotel is the last bastion of original animated content that anyone is gonna find in this hellfire we call the present, so don't fucking give me that shit. There's literally no reason not to support it at this point. Or would you rather remember Star Wars? I remember Star Wars. <laughs> That being said, Hasbin Hotel's universe is infamously very uniform and how it pops. There doesn't seem to be anyone that isn't self-conceited, sinful, or downright villainous, and those that aren't just look way too stylized. Having followed Vivzy since the days of Zoophobia and hell, even before the Die Young video, I know her style doesn't translate beautifully into animation, but shit, it's improving. Nevertheless, I feel like this universe needs a counterbalance, something in-universe that works against this tone and makes the world feel a lot more varied in its perspective. If you have a relatively light-hearted world, you need some kind of cynicism to act as a foil, even if it's a comedy. For example, Spongebob would never work without Squidward, and The Last Airbender would never work without the Fire Nation. This applies to most things. You're just a child. Well, you're just a teenager. Basically, we need a stronger villain. Not just an institutional doubt casted on Charlie or the Exterminators, but an actual faction that seeks to undermine her. So in the world of Hell, populated by some of the most self-conceited and villainous people to ever live, who could possibly fill that role? So The Knights Templar are among the oldest tenants in the underworld. Hold up. No, wait. Hold on. Let me explain. Supremacist fan fictions aside, I know just putting a bunch of Crusaders smack down in the middle of hell is weird, especially at such a contrast of what is functionally a cartoon for edgy teenagers. Basically her. It's, it's her demographic. But it's a good counterweight. Unlike everyone else, they actually take themselves seriously. There's no wacky sidekicks or voice filters. They have regular church services, a monarchy, a theocratic aristocracy, a standing army, a flag. Of all the factions in hell, they're the ones that seem to have any sort of unity. Enemy spotted. But it goes beyond just fantasizing a bunch of Christian civilizing knights in a peppy, indulgent setting. I also wanted to play an essential part in the story, because of course. What makes the faction so interesting to me is that, for all intents and purposes, God has abandoned them. They're doomed to live in hell for all eternity for the slaughters they've committed in life. That would ordinarily seem cause for panic, doubt, and eventually disintegration. But they persist. Either out of spite or out of faith, they delude themselves. It's a cursed world they live in, and yet the Knights Templar fight on. I can't imagine this wouldn't be brought up as sort of their crux. Kind of like Kaisar's Legion being considered brutish and disorganized by the California Republic, when in reality they're highly organized and loyal to a fault. In fact, without the Courier's intervention, there's no telling who exactly could win at Hoover Dam. The Knights Templar would likely be seen as irreverent, or downright pointless, fighting a losing war that isn't guaranteed to pan out into salvation. Being a Christian would ironically be synonymous with being a pansy in their eyes. As a side note, yes, they probably would look impish or demonic because those are the rules of hell, but that plays into the irony of it. The makers being imps is the same kind of wonderful hubris. And sure, while they also reproduce, there are also converts who give up on the violent world around them and learn the way of Deus. Well, that just makes it confusing, Jerry. Isn't that exactly what Charlie's doing? Well... No. Because Charlie believes everyone can be rehabilitated by embracing kindness and friendship, and the Knights Templar are not only more focused on Catholicism, but are much more... ...persuasive. 
And a good motivation to join them also would be the fact that they're the only fighting force capable of defending themselves against the exterminators. Which, despite everyone else telling them so, Dude, they're fucking angels. the knights refuse to believe are actual angels. Oh god, the irony, I love it. But here's where things get interesting. The Templar's goal is to get into heaven via the extermination and total conquest of hell. And while that isn't necessarily guaranteed or even proven, any doubt of that would get thrown away the moment someone does find a way to do it. Say, I don't know, the Princess of Hell finds out that it's possible to get into heaven regardless of the steps required. What exactly would that prompt from the Knights Templar if they were to find out. God wills it! They are the This introduces a ticking clock element as the Kingdom of God decides to commit mass genocide and storm the rest of Hell, the biggest invasion thus far. We gotta go! This place is Hell! Go Not being overly fond of their forceful and often violent approaches, thinking it antithetical to her own beliefs, the only course of action would be to rehabilitate everyone before the knights were on Pentagram City's door. And the worst part? It's basically her own fucking fault. If she had just kept the peace, none of this would be happening. And it's with this moment that the dark night of her soul begins, an essential arc of the hero's journey, and the inevitable all hope is lost moment that puts her beliefs in doubt, only to reinforce her ideology and move into the third and final arc, during which, Actually, I don't really care what happens after that. The point is, the Knights Templar act as an excellent foil to not only the world of Hasbun Hotel, but the ideology of Charlie. They are the other side of the violent spectrum, antithetical to the gang leaders and icons of Hell, and far too forceful to identify with Charlie's goals. They are the cynicism of rehabilitation, the idea that the only good sinner is a dead sinner, and that there are those who are incapable of seeing the light. By all means, they are the villains of Hasbun Hotel, Hotel, as they believe the only path to salvation is through sheer destruction. Jerry, isn't this a little self-indulgent? Yes. You might have noticed that irony is a unifying factor in this faction, as it also is in the world of Hasman Hotel. Hell is traditionally a place where sinners are punished, and yet it's the one place they can do it without consequence. Charlie is the princess of hell, but has this delusion, uh, I'm sorry, dream, that people can get along and get into heaven by doing good. The idea that hell can be overpopulated. The story is laced with irony. The problem is that, tonally, there's no counterbalance to these characters. No serious threat that wants to disenfranchise everyone, regardless of affiliation. And it's needed, because there's too much grating, obnoxious storytelling, and not enough nuance or variety. In a place as big as hell, you'd expect some difference of ideology or practice. Not the same routine of drugs, sex, money, murder, hellfire, and a bunch of stubborn, warmongering Christians in hell? How do you not play with that idea? Pardon the expression. It would be so fucking awesome, you cannot believe how much I want it. That's my proposal. Thanks for watching. I will go to hell before I sit here and I watch this country and the world turned over to these savages. I'm done, I'm pissed, and I'm not putting up with it anymore. You, let me tell you something, you filthy traitors of the government, you pieces of crap. You are the most degenerate, twisted, mentally ill people I've ever seen wanting to gang rape this afterlife. You people are enemies, and we're gonna get your asses, and we know what you're up to, and we're coming for you. I just hope you understand that.